module 20 comparing proportions section 1 proportions rates you have seen that we have already learned about uh, different kinds of variables categorical variables as well as uh, numerical variables so for categorical variables which are discrete in nature nominal and ordinal scales are fine while numerical variables are usually it could be continuous or discrete and interval and ratio these are the scales that we use it for the numerical variables and we also learned different ways either tabular way or a graphical way to summarize uh, you know the or descriptive statistics also we have learned to summarize the data of the quantitative variables how about categorical variable how can you summarize a complicated uh, data set of categorical variable so usually for descriptive statistics for the categorical variables we use proportions uh, especially screening test for like sensitivity and precision or disease prevalence you know or disease incidence rate all these are proportions rates for example, disease incident rates, mortality rates and change rates. So this is uh, the incident rate is basically it's a rate because there is element of uh, change in it. You know, there is actually a time in it. So that is why it's called rate rather than simple proportion. So proportion is nothing but there is actually, uh, you know, it is one divided by the total. So that is what, uh, you know, the number divided by the total to get the proportion. If you want to compare across the data set, proportion is uh, proportions, expressing it in proportion is the easiest way. For example, uh, you know, this is a two way contingency table. You see the case controlled uh, study. It is uh, uh, carried out to see whether smoking is associated with lung cancer. So smoker versus non-smoker, these are the, uh, the groups that are in the, the row, while the columns are case and control. So these are the, the values that you put in two-way tables are always empirical frequency, the what you got in the study, that is what is being written. So now just that we just have to put a total as the third row and then we let us express the first value here is 34 is the uh, case. Uh, smokers among the cases while total is 35 so 34 multiplied by you know uh, 34 divided by 35 is that and that that is what you are going to get in the the proportion of that so you can express that way in the proportion or multiply you can multiply that with 100 to get in a percentage or so so that is uh, expressing in percentage is also a kind of a proportion too so you can give it in a proportion of each of these values to to make it more easy to comprehend it so proportion we can also use the same proportion concept for our uh, you know mental result of this round yellow and round green you know wrinkled yellow and wrinkled green thing where we have we already have the empirical frequency we just add one more row there below that total and each of these em the, the empirical frequency for example the first one three one five divided by the overall total multiplied with 100 will be the proportion expressed in percentage so by looking at that then you will know that which one has the highest proportion so in epidemiology proportions are quite oftenly used so, uh, for screening tests like for uh, for the screening test there is a two terms that is uh, you know quite uh, convey quite uh, different meanings these are sensitivity and precision of the test so the disease prevalence as well as disease incidence so again these two terms are seemingly similar but they are actually quite different relative risk versus absolute risk and odds ratio these things i'm going to cover that in our next section of the same module sensitivity versus specificity so these two terms are quite seemingly similar but convey very different meanings what is the first is sensitivity what is sensitivity so sensitivity is nothing but number of deceased persons who uh, you know who screened positive in a, a test for example uh, uh, you know had it been an hiv detection test so you do this test on the that confirm dead people who have hiv and then the test you know how many how many are actually positive so those are the things so number of deceased persons who screen positive out of the total number of deceased persons so total number of deceased persons means all the dead people so among the all the dead people who have the confirmed HIV so that is called uh, you know sensitivity of a test 
you know so sensitivity has to do something with the dead people while specificity has to do something with the healthy people so specificity is number of healthy people who screen negative so if uh, a person is totally healthy then the tests say it is negative well that's good isn't it so total number of uh, divided by total number of healthy people that is called uh, you know specificity sensitivity is about diseased persons while specificity is about uh, you know healthy pe persons and also high sensitivity means low false negative or type 2 uh, errors are very low while hi high specificity means you know low false positive or type 1 error false positive is type 1 error while false negative is type 2 error which i told you about so that is what these two terms convey so type 1 error is incorrect rejection of the null hypothesis so actually no difference but the test says there is a difference you know which is false positive while type 2 error is false negative it is incorrectly uh, you know retaining the false null hypothesis so that is uh, incorrect you know so that is an error so that is what you call the type 2 error so sensitivity and specificity we can do that with a very simple uh, you know hiv uh, uh, testing kit here this is uh, the the things uh, you know the empirical uh, frequencies that we observed here so first is to calculate the sensitivity uh, that is will be the second row while the first row has to do with the specificity all you have to do is that you have to choose that uh, number divided by the total you know and then you can calculate what is the sensitivity and what is the specificity of this data set which is very simple another related term is called disease prevalence so disease prevalence is number of deceased persons at the time of the investigation divided by the total number of persons examined so amongst everybody how many have been deceased at the time of this investigation done that is called disease prevalence it's often multiplied with hundred uh, or thousand or ten thousand you know to to make some meaningful inference so like for example out of one lakh how many have this disease in a particular location so prevalence indicates how widespread it is you know uh, so the disease is how widespread the disease is for example hiv is is it uh, how widespread across different states of india or different countries of the world is expressed by the disease prevalence rate for example the breast cancer prevalence uh, you know among white and non white you can see that so this is prevalence rate and the cases per 100000 uh, will be written there so from this you can actually make easily you can make uh, make out uh, you know the, the the patterns among how uh, breast cancer is more for uh, non white than the white uh, uh, people so usually this kind of disease prevalence rates is uh, presented graphically as uh, uh, a pie chart or a bar diagram so as I, I told you earlier as well bar diagram has more uh, it's more informative than going with the pie chart because the wet size if it's kind of equal then it's hard to uh, differentiate that you know which one is higher than which one but in this case it's it's perfectly fine to go with the pie chart as well Coming to the next related term is called disease instance. This is number of new cases or newly diagnosed cases at the time of investigation divided by the total number of persons at risk. New cases divided by total number of persons at risk is called disease incidence rate. So often multiplied with 1000 or 100,000. It indicates the risk of contracting the disease. So, uh, you know, uh, the risk of contrasting many kind of diseases are very high for health workers for example so those kind of occupational uh, hazard you can actually do express that with the disease incidence rate uh, for example uh, hiv prevalence among race you can do that or among uh, 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 different sexual practices for example homosexual or uh, heterosexual sexual orientation you know so how much is that hiv uh, pre incidence rate here it's not prevalence but it's incidence rate so prevalence rate is usually uh, about the widespread the disease in the geographical location while incidence rate is about uh, you know about the occupation for example or different uh, you know uh, categories so prevalence is the number of existing cases of the disease in the population during a defined period so that is called the prevalence while incidence rate is the number of new cases of the diseases that develop 
in the population during a defined period of time so the time is another manner uh, you know another of the estimate or parameter in the calculation of the incident rate so that is why it is called a rate so the term rate is used whenever the proportions are adjusted for the time so there are several rates that we use in biology for example growth rate mutation rate enzyme reaction rate or disease or death incidence rate morbidity rate that refers to the presence of a disease in the population while mortality rate refers to the occurrence of death in the population birth rate so many rates are we use that in uh, biology one example is that there were 36 deaths among a total of 100 people injured in traffic accidents in Mansa Road, Bathinda, uh, you know, in Punjab in 2011. What is the cost specific mortality rate in 2011? So that is the question here. So in that case, it is cost specific means the cost is traffic accident. So specific to the traffic accident, this is why, this is why it's called cost specific mortality rate. In this case, 36 upon 100 is equal to 0.36. So you can express that in 1000. So it is, uh, you know, just uh, multiply with 1000 to get 360. You know, then you will see that it is extremely common, uh, you know, the traffic accidents in one place. Another related term is called change rate. Change rate means, you know, new value subtracted with old value divided by the old value multiplied with 100. So that is a formula used for the change rate. Uh, one example is that in 1989, 547 cases of AIDS transmissions from mothers to newborns were reported in India, up 17 percentage from 1988. So it's just one year. So there is a 17 percentage jump in this transmission mode. What is the number of AIDS cases reported in 1988? So how, how do you calculate that one? So to calculate that just you have to uh, plug into this equation. So we know that 17 percentage is a jump. You know that is called change rate 17 percentage. That means 17 by 100 or 0 0.17. Uh, that is uh, the change rate is equal to 547 minus old value let old value be x so 547 minus x divided by x multiplied by 100 so how do you solve with this equation which is actually very simple geometric equation but there are actually multiple tools even i i was not aware of these tools but it's very interesting that uh, using your mobile phone you can just uh, write down this thing and you can uh, take a photo of this one and uh, there are apps that can solve this kind of complicated math problems it's something called photo math app is what i suggest you and uh, one of my all time favorite is a web based uh, advanced calculator called wolfram alpha so the link is also provided in the, uh, you know, the web links list of this uh, MOOC course. Check it out. It's very interesting. So if you do this uh, calculation over there, then you're going to get around 468 is the change, uh, you know, the, the rate in 19, uh, uh, I mean, the cases reported in 1988. So it has become 547. That is a jump of 17 percentage. Another example for the change rate, while Indian females made up just 3,971 of the 35,238 new AIDS cases reported in 1989, that was an increase of 11% over 1988. Given this, what is the proportion of AIDS cases in females and males in 1989 from India? And what is the total number of AIDS cases from India reported in 1988? Uh, you can do this work as an assignment and uh, you can discuss answers in the discussion of this course. You can graphically display, usually these line graphs are reserved for rates because there is an element of time so it's always better to plot that in a linear graph, you know the line graphs rather than going with the uh, you know uh, bar graph or the pie chart so the, it's always better with x axis will be the time you know. So in summary, the proportions are used often to summarize and analyze the categorical data. High sensitivity means low false negative or type 2 error, while high specificity means low false positive or type 1 errors. Disease prevalence is number of deceased persons in the time of, uh, at the time of investigations divided by the total number of persons examined. Prevalence indicate how widespread the disease is 
while disease incidence is the number of new cases or newly diagnosed cases at the time of investigation upon total number of persons at risk. Incidence rate is the risk of contracting the disease. There are several rates in biology including growth rate, morbidity rate, mortality rate, birth rate etc. Change rate is the difference between old and new rates divided by the new rate expressed in percentage. Thank you for watching.